Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about the strawberry shortcake pancakes. You call it dessert, you can call it Sunday brunch, we're just calling it dang good. You guys stay tuned. You might be thinking, how in the world do we get to this moment? Sometimes we think the same things, right? Sometimes a good turns into bad, sometimes a bad turns into good. We had ice cream, we bought it at the grocery store, it was our Friday night cheat night, and I was so excited to try this new ice cream. We got it home, didn't like it. Didn't like it. It wasn't the fact I didn't like it, it just wasn't what I wanted, you know? And so now you're stuck with like a pint, quart, gallon, you know, dump truck full of ice cream. What do you do with it? You just throw it away? So in the past, we've done like several things with it, and obviously not on the griddle, but just in life in general, right? Make popsicles for the kids or something like that, melted it. And I told my wife, I said, why don't we just melt it down and make it like into a batter of something? She was like, I have no clue what you're, what you're going with this. Like, where are you going? What are you thinking? Then it dawned on me, strawberry pancakes. And then it went even further, strawberry shortcake pancakes. And then today, we're doing white chocolate strawberry shortcake pancakes. Easy peasy because we're using our muffin mix. All right. So we, for our members only, if you guys are interested, we have a join program. Uh, it just helps support the channel. Um, a lot of people are interested in it. We do behind the scenes. It was an epic fail. We uploaded the whole video. I've learned a lot since then. And today, I'm committed to getting it done right. The flavors were super good, though, when you made it the first time. The flavor was on point. It was just the execution was not quite there. I've learned. It don't take me many times, but this time, we're going to get it. Let's get going. Simple things. All right. I've got my strawberry. This is not the ice cream we had, okay? I've just got a pint of strawberry ice cream. Uh, we've let it melt, okay? You can use any flavor combinations. Trust me, there's chocolate, banana nut. And we actually, apple. We, we've used melted vanilla ice cream before to make banana bread, and it was fantastic. That's kind of how the, yeah, there you go. That, Remember? yeah, exactly, yep. All right, so the Bisquick, you guys know how we do. One cup. Right? So that's a half cup measuring cup because <laughs> it looked like you put two cups in there. That's correct. That was one cup. Total. All the um, packet of the muffin mix. One thing we like to do, which is my uh, brother from another mother from the Navy, Chris, has always recommended a coffee creamer. And it, we very rarely have flavored coffee creamer. That's another way to incorporate tons of flavor. That's what it's about, right? Just making good food. Quarter cup on the uh, chocolate chips. Uh, we're gonna do one egg. And then, one cup of the thawed ice cream. And we're using strawberry. Absolutely, just trying to just work on those strawberry flavors. Now this is going to be just a little bit thicker batter. And what we learned, I think, since we um, incorporated the ice cream into it, there's a lot more sugars than normal. Woo. Not to adjust on the fly, honey. Add some milk. Hey, a lot of things happen during cooking, right? The first time we made this, we used one cup of melted ice cream and the recipe came out flawless, right? As you can tell, I'm one cup in and I'm too thick. Just adjust on the fly, right? Add milk, add buttermilk. I've got about a quarter of this left. So I'm just gonna add the rest of this in there just to see how thin we get it. You're just making pancakes. Let's not make it too hard. You're still going after that same consistency that you typically would have. So that was the full pint of right. strawberry ice cream. Yep. After adding the whole pint of thawed ice cream, we're still not happy with the consistency. And it's very important to take your time and do it right the first time than to mess up like I did. So I'm gonna add a quarter cup of milk. <laughs> well, heavy handed quarter cup. I'm happy with that right there. That's perfect. See that? That's pancake mix 101, all right? Now we're back on track. Now I gotta stay focused. So 
we're going to take basically the whole package of shortbread cookies. We bought these at the grocery store. Phenomenal. The whole package? The whole package, because some's going to be used for a garnish. You want to sneak one out for you? Mm, maybe there's a little half of one in there. A little snack for the camera woman. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here's a Robin. You guys didn't see it behind the scenes. Look at her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. All right. I do not want to find sawdust, but I don't want large chunks either. This doesn't take a lot of um, power to get these done. So just a half a cup of the shortbread cookies just crunched up. Now I don't like I said, I don't know if this is dessert or if this is pancakes. Whatever it is, my kids loved it. Talking about strawberries, right? I've just uh taken strawberries. We actually did them yesterday. I just sliced them thin. And I just added about a teaspoon of sugar and it just helps macerate the strawberries. Just takes a little bit of the tartness off and adds some of that sauce, right? So that's what we're gonna to top our uh, pancakes with. All right, we got some mail call. I'm not brave enough yet to open this stuff and get my honest react or my original reaction when it first happens. You never know what comes in the mail these days. So Matt, thank you very much for my extreme. I tasted it all. I tasted it, I've already let him know that I've got it. I tried it. This is called Papa's Pepper Extreme. And for the people that do like heat, this is for you. Cause a little dab will do you and I about died. If Matt was on the next to me, I'm sure he'd been in tears laughing. Matt, I appreciate it. Here's the kicker. Now this stuff is the stuff that gets me emotional, right? So as a retired army SFC, I would like to first salute you and thank you for the service as you as well. He's fully retired. His name's Alan. He lives in Arizona. And this is what he sent me. My own wooden scraper, because he knows I like to use wooden on my pit boss. Wooden, wood. A small scraper and a large scraper. And to be honest with you, I'm so dang uh, attached to little things like this. We might just hang them up on our wall of, maybe like a wall of gifts or something like that. I'm gonna try them out a couple times, but we might just go ahead and retire these as they are. Just because yeah, I'm so are. proud and happy. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, our P.O. box is listed below if you guys are interested in sending us really cool stuff. Alan, from one veteran to another, you know what it means to me. Thank you very much. All right, just put you some butter down on the griddle. This is a great way to learn temperature control on your griddle because you're worried, you're trying to wait to see how your butter reacts. Last time, there was no doubt. I turned the griddle on when we very first started. By the time the ice cream took the melt, by the time we made the recipe, by the time we got everything set up filming, my griddle was too hot and I should have known better. It happens to the best of us. All right, we're a lot better shaped this time than what we were last time. Here we go. They smell so good. All right, it doesn't take long. Last batch. Tell them about our cookie scoop that we like for pancakes. I wish we knew exactly how much it was. I really I, think it's a two tablespoon scoop. I think it's a two tablespoon scoop too. I think we've actually measured it before. Now, now I'm just curious, honey. Bob, Bob's a great commenter on our channel. We've become really good friends over the last couple of years. And so my wife said I need to cook pre-made rice 90 seconds in the microwave before I put it on the flat top grill to make our oh, epic geez. five ingredient fried rice. <laughs> I'm curious, the muffin mix has instructions on how to make it, right? 
but yet we're not baking the muffin mix. We're putting it on the flat top grill. So why is that different? <laughs> Silence for the peanut gallery. Just because I'm acting like a scaredy cat, I went ahead and turned my metal burner off. So I got this one on low, this one on low. Just to be able to adjust the temperature on the griddle just to drop it down a hair, especially where you're dealing with that much sugar, right? This is way different than your typical just uh, Bisquick or whatever type of pancake mix that you traditionally use. There's just a lot of sugar in here. So to counteract that, you just want to be able to drop that temperature some. absolute success no doubt about it time to taste it <laughs> i know it's gonna be good it smells amazing it might seem like it's overloaded it might seem like a lot but that's the point right sometimes you just want to indulge yourself and just change the game right pancakes or white chocolate strawberry shortcake pancakes Let me taste. <laughs> I know they're... With ice cream. All right, guys. We're going to finish this up right here. Take those macerated strawberries. Right on top. Can't have shortcake without your uh, whipped topping. And then if that wasn't enough, I just saved some of the little shortbread pieces. Right on top. Did you redeem yourself from the first one? I did. I know it looks good. It smells good too. Golly, here, let's just look at this bite you're about to feed me. And you guys know by now how big her mouth is compared to mine. It'll, it'll, it'll fit, trust me, all let's of it. Let's do just a... <laughs> hey, you know on our wedding day when I gave you the cake, I didn't smear it all over you. You better not now either. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the chance that that could happen. That's good. It's not overly sweet. <sighs> That'd be a good Sunday brunch. Oh my gosh. Here. Am I bite? Yeah. Good. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. Hey, super easy, packed with flavor, whatever you guys want to call it. Just make it and then call it good. And while you're doing it, tag us on the Griddle Group on Facebook. Find us. Show us what you guys are making. How are you guys making it? We love to interact with you guys. There's a lot of people on there that go back and forth. What kind of question you got? What griddle do you have? All the good questions that come with it, right? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Thank you. Peace. Woo. That's a winner, baby.